Well, we went from last year racing 45 races a week mm -hmm. to 24 races a week right now. Why? Because when the slots at racetracks program was taken away, it ended in March, so there was no more funding for purses. So instead of going for racing for 115,000 a night, we're racing for 50. Okay. So it's like 60% less money. Right. And over 50% less races. There's the main competition there, Wayne Laviolette. They got voice on that too? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Because the horse population is so high, right? So every but every three weeks you get in. Sometimes every two, depending on the horse. But right. it's basically impossible to make money, mm -hmm. even to break, come close to breaking even the way it's set up right now. A year ago, it was the best place in the world to race, and now it's going to be the worst. And we decided to go to Vernon with the horses that could not get in in Ottawa. Over the last year, everybody knew it was coming, so mm -hmm. a lot of them are in the States now. A lot of them got right out of the business. Right. So it's not everybody. You know, they have families, too. Yeah. You know, that their wives have jobs and they can't leave and right. situations like that. Your he's starting to do a lot of funny things. <laughs> he can talk a little bit now. Yeah. You know, he's really fun to be around. Yeah. And I'm definitely, you know, I'm going to have to come home to see him as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Or uh, have him come down to the States for right. the, you know, weekend at a time or whatever. But it's going to be definitely very hard to do. I'm basically doing it for him, though, in the end. I mean, there's, there's no other way to do it. About three months before the slots program was canceled, I built a barn and put an equisizer in, a horse equisizer, built some run-in sheds, mm -hmm. uh, built new paddocks for the horses. I spent over $100,000 four months before the program was canceled. Great. So obviously I wanted to stay here. I mean, his mother has a, a, a job in Ottawa that she can't leave. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know she doesn't make enough money to support everything. So uh, if I was to stay, I'd have to, to sell everything and basically start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just, I can't really do that. I got to go. Right. I'm kind of in the peak of my career. So, you know, you if, I, if I'm going to want to make money, like decent money, I'm going to have to leave. Mm 